Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. Welcome to the monthly general reading for the upcoming months of December and then January 2022. Cancer Sun, Moon Rising, Venus Signs, and Cross Watchers. All right, so guiding energy for Cancer, please. Wow, we have opportunity. All right, very nice. Opportunity coming out and then we have It's Up To You. All right, so you can make this happen, whatever this is, Cancer. If this is career-related, goal-related, love-related, we have an opportunity, and it's up to you. So it looks like the ball is in your court here. All right, so I'm going to pull an Oracle card for December for guidance, and then January. Let's take a look at December. Oh, we have Capricorn. So, yeah, this could definitely be related to business or involving a Capricorn. All right, so Capricorn energy coming up. Let's take a look at January 2022. What else for Cancer? Interesting. Okay, so we have Trickster, Addict, and then Fire. Okay, so now we're showing this Fire energy, which Fire signs are Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So this is definitely a reading for a group of specific people when it comes to this January time frame here. So trickster, all right, someone who maybe has been playing mind games. Why? Well, there are certain addictions and it doesn't have to be substance abuse addictions, but it could be addicted to behaviors that just are not good, like low vibe, low energy, ego, mind games. All right, fire energy. So Let's take a look. Maybe there's an opportunity here to heal this matter. So, all right, I'm going to pull some tarot cards. I'm going to do the same thing. December. What do we have for December, please? December for Cancer. Addict card reminds me of the devil. When someone repeatedly does behaviors that just are not healthy. All right, so we have King of Swords. Yeah, so this can be definitely about needing to be firm, set boundaries. This could be about using your wisdom to solve a problem. Or this King of Swords could be somebody who comes off as being like cold stern but we'll take a look i'm going to pull for january wow queen of wands and i did see you know the queen of swords pop up before so now we have that fire energy here for january so look at that aries leo sagittarius this fire energy okay so with the queen of wands it's very much about a go-getter someone who can take control and apply wisdom or apply what needs to be done. It's up to you. Yeah, so I'm feeling like it's a take charge energy. All right, so let's take a look at what is going on here. I'm going to pull three for the situation. Three cards, please. What do we have for the upcoming months for guidance? Three of Wands. So this is something that's manifesting pretty soon with the Three of Wands. And it's definitely, that is also about being a go-getter. <clears throat> so it's up to you if there's something that you need to chase after or heal in a sense, like a goal or whatever it is. You have a set mind towards something. You're throwing your passion into it. For some of you, like that trickster and addict card, it can be you tricking yourself like with a lack of confidence. So have confidence in yourself. Apply the wisdom. Capricorn is about working hard. We have the five of cups. So this is somebody who may tend to look at what's you know wrong or what's gone wrong rather than what's right and what the future is holding. So it could be about shifting mindsets. All right. And so, yeah, we have the magician. So this is definitely saying like confidence is really, really important here. And the magician, 
This is about manifesting your reality. So there's something here that you're manifesting and something here definitely may need to be healed or worked on. But with the magician, you are the creator. So these next few months are going to be really, really powerful. And the nodes are switching from the Gemini and Sagittarius axis over to the North Node in Taurus, South Node in Scorpio. So it's going to create a wave of change. We are in the middle of eclipse season and we have the Sagittarius new moon eclipse coming up. So yeah, it's going to be a very powerful time. So just know how powerful you are. You're creating your reality all the time. So take the action that you need to take in order to create the reality that you want. And some of that could be mindset. Six of Swords, releasing the past. So I'm going to pull a few clarifiers here. I want to take a look at this King of Swords energy. Okay, we have the World card. Yeah, so the world, we have definitely something is coming full circle here with the world. It also can be that, um, yes, defensive. So somebody may feel like they have a lot of weight on their shoulders. All right, with that seven of wands, let me take a look at the queen of wands. Wow, yeah. This is definitely like a take charge energy here. And that card at the bottom, it's up to you. So yeah, I feel like there's an opportunity here that's gonna come and it may not happen all the time. So it's definitely a take charge energy. So if there has been like a fighting back and forth, um, I feel like there is an opportunity to heal. So if there's been division or separation, um, if there's been people who are just not getting along or, you know, things have been rather tense. I feel like there's an opportunity here to heal that, but also there's an opportunity here for you to manifest something and grow something really important to you. Now with the seven of wands and thinking about like career and things moving forward, sometimes what the seven of wands can mean is you've really achieved something, so you need to protect it. You need to protect your business, your wealth, you know, what you've accomplished, because sometimes others become jealous and want that. So with that Capricorn energy, if we're seeing that in terms of like business and career, protect yourself, right? <clears throat> so that can mean a few different things. For some, it could even mean like insurance wise. Contracts, right? With the King of Swords. So protect yourself in that sense. But the magician, we're showing that something here, and look what's at the bottom here. Wow. So I feel like you're more powerful than you realize. Yeah, eight of cups. You're more powerful than you realize. Clear out things or people or situations that just don't serve anymore, aren't serving a higher purpose, and do what's best for you here. But the magician, I'm seeing like there is a huge transformation here taking place. And that's even in the eclipse. The card right here is showing an eclipse. And look, now we have King of Swords at the bottom. So, you know, and that's air sign energy, like Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So, all right, I'm going to pull some Oracle cards here. Let's see what else we have. December, January. Okay, yeah. So, Yang, right? Yang is that fire energy. It's about taking charge. It's more about action, so it's external versus the internal you'd get with the yin, where you're like receiving. It's about taking action and go the distance. So yep, I'm seeing this here, go the distance. If you're working on something, you know, put all the work into it you can now, and this is about the long term rather than just rushing through. So be careful of just rushing through and not being 100% on point. Just make sure that they're, you know, you're tying up all your loose ends. You're getting things done that you need to get done. All right. Make sure that the foundation is solid because this is about long-term success. Big time. All right. So I'm going to pull one from the Oracle of the Fairies. Wow. That was fast. <laughs> Find balance, right? Find the balance between your work, rest, and playtime, and you will have more energy, harmony, and productivity in your life. Take a power nap. And so important, look what's at the bottom, wisdom. That's what I've been talking about here, using your wisdom, especially with that king of swords. 
Have you ever been told that you're wise beyond your years? Now is the time to call upon your inner fairy wisdom to help you with a challenge. And there's definitely some kind of challenge showing up here. So I feel like you have the power to change things. That's really important around this time with that magician energy. The power to heal, the power to grow, the power for success. You hold the power. Lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval. It also can mean transformation. Okay, love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. All right, and I'm going to pull one more to close this reading up. And if this resonates with you, definitely let me know. All right, look at, so we have addiction coming up again. Codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block or restraint. And then we have this girl talk card, which in general just means chatting with friends, people you can trust, right? So happily single, living in the moment or having fun, moving on, releasing the past, just having a good time and thinking about the future that you want to create. You know, you're creating every single day your reality. So it's about taking those long term steps and focusing on the long term. I hope you guys have an amazing few months ahead. If you're interested in any of my services or you want to follow me on Facebook or Instagram, all that information is posted in the description box below. Take care.